Uh, looking back and uh, looking back on our history, the city of Jackson was a much a different place in 1959, the year the daughters of the Confederacy lobbied to rename Valhalla High School that was democratically chosen by a student body. Um, to put it in perspective, those days not every person was free to eat at a lunch counter downtown at Woolworths. Uh, there were things called Jim Crow taxis, and we still live with the large, with with the legacies of monuments such as that. And that's why I support, for the most part, getting rid of the name. This isn't going to change anyone's history. It's not going to, as, as you aptly put it, uh, it's not going to take your diploma away. Uh, you know, people aren't going to come in the middle of the night and say, we want your yearbook so we can change it. <laughs> you know, um, it's not going to take away your memories. Uh, it's not going to take away your grades, whether they were good or bad. Um, and it's not going to take, take away your history. And, and to kind of put this in perspective, I mean, if the daughters of the Confederacy were interested in simply promoting Southern history, why choose Nathan B. Forrest? Um, let's be frank, <coughs> it was regarding the 1954 Brown versus the Board of Education decision calling for integration. They could have chosen Zephaniah Kingsley. Uh, Henry Clay, Daniel Boone. They could have chosen anybody, but they chose Nathan Forrest. Um, I think Jacksonville should be about be about doing doing things positive, uh, moving forward, and, uh, and and building that that old new city of the South we we'd all like to have. I, I think this is a I think it's, this is a positive step towards that, and I support the name change, and I support you too. Thank you.